just going to do a quick run through of the control rig um, controls and setup so you can do animations within Unreal. Okay, so we'll, um, this is a brand new project. All you do is edit, plugins, under animation, ensure the control rig is enabled, and then uh, restart Unreal. And um, once it's restarted, I'll just jump in here. You'll have uh, under the animations, you'll have a couple of extra things in here control rig and control rig sequence. And uh, what we're doing, we'll just create a, a new control rig here. Create it, and we'll just call this. Um, okay, once, uh, once you open up your control rig, right click in here. Just put in right uh, rig hierarchy reference. Uh, just, um, just call it something unique. Just going to follow along um, from the Unreal documents. They just uh, miss a few things and leave a couple of uh, things out. Okay, so from here, what we've got is um, a few different controls. You've, you've got a controller here. We'll just run for an IK rig. Just uh, simple and straightforward. Um, just do it off the, uh, the right arm. Let's see. Under hierarchy in here, we'll import a skeletal mesh. Just, use, just using the standard mannequin one here. When it comes through, it'll populate everything, just compile, make sure it's all in there. Okay, and uh, for the preview here, we'll just use the same one so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and we'll uh, just set up a two bone IK, same as the uh, Unreal uh, document sphere, and we'll use just use the um, where is he? the right hand and uh, upper arm. So the starting joint will be our upper um, oh, oh, underscore right, and um, the end one will be the hand. Set up in there. Right arm will be the uh, end effector, and we'll set up a another control um, just for the uh, elbow pointing the elbow to stop the um, stop the twists. for transform to the pole target around here and also in here just um, put in the get joint transform and we'll set that to current plug that in and put that in for the initial transform okay that's all we need to do in here and um, we, we can test this out if you click on the, uh, see the right arm one here in the scene we should get this little thing popping in and, uh, we'll try the, the pole target here to adjust our elbow Yep, so that's all working in here. Now all we have to do is um, set it up in the sequencer. So we've got that uh, there. We'll just jump in here under animation, control rig sequence. 
and uh, I'll just leave it as um, the standard name there. Okay, and we should get this uh, little panel pop up here. And here we just grab the new control rig sequence. Oh. We also need to just place a. I'll just save everything. Okay. Uh, right, in the want to go in there. Also, in the scene, we want to um, place our um, our mannequin skeleton. Place them in there. Get rid of that one. Okay, so that's our guy there. Uh, why isn't that taking? Let's do. I'm counting 12. Here we go. Um, not too sure why it uh, didn't take the first time. Okay, so now we um, select the actor again. Cool, so he's our guy. Okay, now all we need to do is add a new track here, control rig, our boss rig there, and then under the tracks here, set up the control transform. Add the right arm control transform. <laughs> and uh, just change it to there. So it's uh, working alright there. So we'll just set up a um, kind of a start pose thing. Okay, and um, to add keyframes, just got these little uh, dots in here, or you can. Um, we've also got uh, ones here as well under the transforms, but uh, you can use them all in here. So you'd set up a, a starting one there, then um, scrub along a little bit, and uh, we'll use the right arm transform one there. Keyframes. Go, that'll do. Now the um, one tricky little thing about it is with this here. Um, just, uh, save that one. And uh, drag this up here. Uh, we were we doing this. Here we go. Okay, two. Um, Here's our, our sequence here. Export the animation. We can collect, select that one. Um, it seems this uh, create new animation sequence doesn't work. You, you need to actually overwrite one of your existing animations. So uh, we'll just cancel that, jump into the animations, and uh, duplicate this one. back in here, right click on the sequencer, export to animation, use the test one, 
it's all, all the same, 30 frames, convert, and there we go. So it should be correct now, and um, just jump back into our uh, animations, and we've got our test in here. And as ugly as it is, it's uh, created. That's uh, all there is to it. I'm not too sure how to set up the uh, control um, graph in here, but um, yeah, we'll try and look into that. Okay, cheers, have fun.